Hi there, Robin here from Expert On, and today is going to be a big day. It's going to be the Electroice Evolve 50 line array. Uh, it kind of stands on top of everybody else right now when it comes to setup, options, features, all of that. But how does it really work when it comes to comparing it to other brands? So that's what today's video is going to be all about. Uh, if we take a look at the actual Evolve, it's a simple system. The line array is built to be removable. Put it away in a minute. It's that kind of setup. But we've seen a lot of videos talk about that. What we're gonna look at is why does it make such great sense for so many people to start buying into this kind of product and especially the Evolve. If you're looking for a speaker that can do anything from uh, wedding services, and I know I've said it in the past, line arrays maybe not the first choice for me, but when you get to this level of power, you're really getting over all of those uh, stigmas of having an actual base driver too low on the ground. It carries when it comes to volume. So we're definitely going to have a lot of enjoyment using the product. Now the other advantage is the features. This machine goes way beyond what you normally would think a line array should do. So when we look at a speaker like this, we're going to see a speaker that has the ability to have, well, up to like half a dozen speakers connected to it. It also has the ability to control distance. So if you're doing corporate events, if you're setting up in a factory warehouse for a corporate meeting, if you're going to do a big ballroom setup for a thousand employees, instead of just having two speakers set up front, you can set up two, four, or six of these guys, no problem, so this way, the entire room is set up properly and it's balanced. It has distance control. So this way we can put the speakers out of phase. So this way it reaches all the way around the room at the same time. A lot of times we look at line arrays and we think, well, it's not as loud as getting a traditional setup. We see this and we go for the same money, I can buy maybe a subwoofer and a top, but you've got to pick up that 50 pound top to put on it. And it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to carry as far. There's a system set up here, really designed to carry sound and envelop a room, and envelop that whole space with full rich sound. That's what we're gonna talk about and we're gonna go through all those features on the back. It's real important that we actually listen to the sound that comes out of a box like this because at the end of the day, that's gonna determine if it's right for us. So let's have a closer look at the back and let's take a listen to it a few times and see what we think. So here we go. This is the back display. Not too unfamiliar because it does have a lot of similarities to a lot of other models, but the important part is what goes on right up here. We've got the quick smart DSP setting. Now, this is where we're going to be able to do things like utilize the Bluetooth that's built into the machine, be able to adjust the actual line levels when it comes to the mid bass and treble controls. It also has a nice mid level control. So when we're at the table, we'll take a closer look at that. It also has built-in phantom power, so if you want to use condenser microphones, you can do that. So you're not just stuck with dynamic. Now, they also incorporate a delay feature. So if you're setting up speakers, let's say at a big corporate event where you've got speakers to the left and right of the stage, but to balance out the sound, you've added two more speakers halfway down the side of the room. It allows you to add distance, so this way it actually arrives to everybody in the back of the room at the same time adjusting the delay settings. So that is a really big important feature. Now, if we move across the actual unit, you've got your control panel, which allows us to use the actual unit itself for the display purposes. And it allows me to actually control features like Bluetooth, music settings, all of these great little features that are built inside. And again, when we go to the table, we'll look at that in much more detail. Next to it, we've got our line microphone control. So at 12 o'clock, we're at zero dB, which is probably around where our line level is going to be. And then we switch over into the mic mode. Same thing happens on line two. They also utilize combo jack. So I can now insert either a quarter inch or an XLR. That's why the three little pins. So don't get confused. If you don't see just the three pins set up, this is a combo jack, both quarter inch and XLR. Then we have our auxiliary line, which is also where our Bluetooth is located, but we do have RCA plugs and 3.5 for convenient, easy setups. So if you're just doing a ceremony or a service with a speaker, 
though the speaker itself might be overkill for it, it can do the job, no problem, because everything's built in. You don't need special adapters uh, and connectors to make that happen. Anything you've got in your bag of cables are going to work on this unit, regardless of its XLR, quarter inch, RCA, or 3.5. Now on the output, they have two of them. They have the mix out, which we have some variable controls up here that can control that. And we have a through. So this way, exactly what comes in here comes out there. So if I am hooking a bunch of these in series, I can easily do that without having to get too complicated with what's going on up here. So let's take a listen to it and see what we think. Summer snow When it falls on you Your blood runs cold But don't you sweat Your pretty skin Cause it melts away For it sinks in And you dream about This very night When the moon runs down The summer Constantly fighting for space I need to 
So here we are, back at the table. Before we actually go over all the features of the speakers themselves, how they're set up, what they're built out of, craftsmanship, all the features that we find on the back side of it, including the actual quick smart display setups, we're gonna talk about the actual app because this speaker also has Bluetooth, but it's not just for driving music, it's also for controlling the speaker. So all of that can be done through the app via Bluetooth wirelessly. So let's start the actual app here and have a look at what it looks like in real time. So there we go. We should have the app here on the screen. And right now we're at the start point. I have connected it via Bluetooth and all I had to do was actually come to the back of the speaker, hold down the master volume button for three seconds. It'll display that it's waiting to pair. Check with my phone, connected it, no problem. The app also runs very smooth, uh, no restarting necessary. I'm running it on Android, it runs on Apple products as well. It's that simple. Uh, I tap on the Evolve 50 because, well, that's what we want to connect to. Let's get to that product right now. Now we're into it, it now has synced, it knows what's going on right now with the actual speaker. I can do things like come down to the bottom corner, change from music to live speech to club mode, just like that. I can also control the overall master volume of the speaker and it's showing me on the actual speaker that I'm controlling that particular unit. Now remember, you can have multiple units connected at the same time. I can deal with it in groups or I can deal with it individually through tapping on the speakers. Now, of course, I only have one speaker, so I only have one displayed. Now, I can go into that speaker and do things like adjust the bass, treble, and mid-range controls. Uh, nice part is, is that every time you hit right down neutral, it'll automatically uh, give you a little vibration in the phone, so this way you know it's working properly. It's pretty much straightforward, easy. If I had multiple speakers connected, I'd be able to adjust uh, delay for distance, and I just it's just measured in feet or meters, it's pretty straightforward in that sense. So that's a nice feature as well. So I just thought we cover it, and of course, straight up mute uh, before we moved on to the speaker because the Bluetooth is a great, great advantage to have with this product, especially the more you have. So if you have two, four, or six of them, it's gonna make it even easier to operate. All right, so let's take a closer look at the actual speaker system itself and what makes it so good. Now, I know I've said in the past, Line Array is probably not for DJing. There's always an exception to the rule, and right now, this guy is falling in that category. Now, if I'm doing something where I would traditionally have brought out uh, two 15-inch or two 18-inch subs and threw some 12s on top because I really wanted the bass, then maybe I wouldn't buy this. But remember, the music we're playing here and the videos that we're capturing, I mean, they don't even count for like 30% of the actual bass coming off of this. This is a 12-inch subwoofer, and it does pack 500 watts of power to get it going. So, definitely a ton of driving power. Now, there's lots of features in the back, and one of the nice features about this is I can actually increase the gain on the sub separately from the top, which means I can decide I want more bass than mids and highs out of the full range system on top. So that's a big plus. So far, I haven't seen that on any others. Not saying it's not out there, but I'm saying that is a great feature if you're thinking about using this professionally as a DJ. Now, that being said, they do make it out of wood, which does add to the overall weight of the system, uh, but wood gives it the right density 
it requires to actually drive the system. Now, they also wanted to make this a very robust system, so this way it wasn't going to feel cheap or, uh, you know, let you down because the connection wasn't as good as you thought it would be. Remember, on a commercial grade, full-size setup, you can get a whole bunch of these set up. You can offset it if you're doing those big conferences and you need to put some down and around the entire banquet hall, you can do that because you can link up the distances. You might add something like a wireless system from Alto, like their total package, which gets you that you know 200 foot run down the side or 150 feet off the left and right. Wirelessly, no problem. Just add that feature onto it and you're good. Remember that's a separate buy, but if you're investing this kind of money, you might want to add that on. Now the tops, tops are just phenomenal. So this guy right here, eight speakers. So again, a lot of them, uh, a lot of the entry level, we'll call it pieces. I'm not gonna say, we're gonna say, you know, things that you might just use in a pub or a bar or, or in a coffee shop, something like that, they'll have four. A good one will have six. This one has eight, featuring eight neodymium drivers. Now they're full range drivers, and these are unique drivers. These drivers were meant to project a ton of sound, and when you stack eight of them together, well, that's like replacing, you know, a couple of 15s easy for driving distance. Now, at the same time, it wouldn't be a line array if we didn't fill in the bottom, and that's why we have the taper coming in. So now the people up close have great sound coverage, people far away have great sound coverage, and everybody in the middle. Also, it's designed to flare out really far. So where a traditional speaker, you're going to have a 60 by 90, uh, so 60 vertically and 90 horizontally, this one goes up to 120. Now it's only 40 on the vertical. I don't quite get that part, but 120 on the horizontal, which is really what it's all about. It's about filling in that entire space, and making sure everybody hears what's going on. So that's what's going on. It does have some substantial weight, so it's going to be projecting the sound forward, not back. So it's not gonna be shaking and, and just losing energy. It's gonna do a job really well. It's molded and it looks really nice. So when you take it out of the bag, it's gonna look very professional when you set it up. And a very thick grill cover set up on it in their traditional pattern, which you know is a nice add-on. So from there, you end up with the mid piece, which is the pole, which comes in two settings. Uh, so when you order it, make sure you're getting the right one you want. This is, you know, a standard package is going to have this pole. It's going to get the whole speaker set up close to seven feet tall. Um, and it's reversible. Now, if you own a line array, you've been to stores where they have line arrays. They're normally, you know, if you're lucky, they're stacked and uh, you can, you know, adjust it. But with this, they put a large, large insert on it. Uh, they put it magnetic so this way it stayed put. Uh, it's not, of course, meant to hold the whole thing together because, of course, you just pull it apart. But the inserts drop in really well that way, and it does have a good lock feel to it. So when it's dropped in place, you know it's there. It's slid all the way down the pipe, no problem. Uh, this is all made of extruded aluminum. Uh, so, again, it just feels really good, and it stays straight, and you're not going to break this without putting a ridiculous amount of effort into it. You probably break everything else before that. Uh, same thing goes with the box. Very, very robust, very, very solid. Uh, the top has a nice taper to it to receive the pole. Everything straightforward. Nice handles, handles on the side, make it easier to carry. And the option kits are really good. You can get a shorter pole. You can get a rolling bag cart for this guy. You can get a jacket for this guy. It does include the case for the actual pole and the top. And you can even buy a shorter pole. So if you're doing a small setup at a cafe, you can do that. So those are the big, big pluses. And like I said, this, it's like you're gonna come out of the gate, you're gonna put your, your best foot forward and that's what Electro Voice did when they made the Evolve 50. So are we gonna see something like maybe an Evolve 35 come down the pipe? Maybe because you know there's a market for at least two more models uh, below this. Uh, they set the bar so high with this guy, they definitely can come in with a unit with a uh, little less power, lighter weight dramatically, easier to use for, for bars, pubs, and stuff like that. But if you're gonna buy a speaker and you want, you wanna make sure you have a speaker for tomorrow and for the next couple of years and you don't wanna have to worry about it, you really can't go wrong with a product like this. Uh, so let's take a closer look at the actual display panel. Electro Voice has a bunch of great videos where they go into detail on how to set up the Bluetooth and all that, but we'll do a little quick review on that now and uh, we'll see how that looks. 
All right, so here we are looking at the QuickSmart DSP setting. Right on top tells us our level, and if I dial it up or down, you'll see how that changes. It allows us to get the overall sound of the speaker adjusted via the knob here. Then if we actually have music playing, we actually have indicators at the levels at which we're gonna be playing those three different channel inputs that are on the system. So if I press the button now, we can get in. So that's how we always exit, gets us back to the original menu. And again, we're back in. First thing we see now, this is also shown on our actual app, so we can quick see it on our phone or tablet, and that's the music mode. So we can choose which style we want to have it in. Then we have the sub level control. So this is where I can increase or decrease how much sub. So if I'm going to play it at lower levels, but I do want more bass to it, I can do that here, just like as if you had a regular top and a regular subwoofer. Then we have our traditional treble, mid range. This is exciting a mid frequency. This means that I can actually change where I'm actually going to be pulling up and down the mid range. Uh, it really helps me tweak the sound, especially if you're trying to work around some feedback. This is really nice. So then you have bass control, phantom power. So now not everybody's always going to be using a dynamic microphone. You may have a condenser microphone. You may have to turn phantom power on and off. So instead of having a separate mixer because you need to run that, you can now run that right into it. Now this is another nice feature, it's the mix out. So on the back of this, we have an XLR output and which is titled as through. So basically what comes in goes out. And then we have another one called mix out. Now mix out is gonna allow us to be creative with what we do with the speaker. I can either send exactly the same signal from the left speaker to the right speaker and that would create a mixed stereo system like left plus R or I can create a dedicated left and right speaker by choosing the R only. Which remember, that means you're gonna be putting this on the right side, not the left side. Then you have delay. Delay is another exciting feature if you're gonna have a bunch of speakers. When you have delay, you can increase simply by adjusting, no need to Google calculate the millisecond delay and all that kind of stuff, no, 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 just decide. How far is this speaker away from the other speaker? If it's, you know, 25 feet away in front of further into the crowd, remember this isn't a left and right separation. This is, I'm placing a speaker down the side of the hall uh, further away from me. If I have it at the front of the banquet hall and that's 100 feet away, set this dial to 100. So this way you're not gonna have that irritating echo from front to back. Then, brings us back, we have options with the lights we can make that light display in the front show us the limit. So if this is set up at the banquet hall, we can easily see if that speaker in the front is actually hitting the limit because we'll probably have line of sight to it. Uh, we can also have it display that when the actual app is running, we're seeing that it's being connected. So that's nice. And you can even turn it off if you don't want it on at all. If you think that's, you know, you're having some sort of night show and you don't want it, who cares? There you go, turn it right off. You can even control how bright your display is going to be and the contrast, all of that. So details, definitely here. You can store all these settings. So if you have like a hall setting that you use traditionally and you want to have that as a default, by all means. So this way you can change around all you want when you go somewhere else and just bring it back and then you use this recall feature to make that happen. Also buried in here is where we're going to find our Bluetooth. We have app control. If we don't want to use it, turn it off. We need to use it here right now, so we're going to keep that on. Plus the streaming feature, this is the Bluetooth. I can turn it off or on, so again, I, nobody's going to get into my system unless I choose to. And then, of course, the reset option and the info, and right back to exit. And that's it. That's what's going on there. They put a ton of features in this one machine, so you can pretty much do whatever you want with it. So that pretty much covers all of that. So remember, 500 watts on the top, 500 watts on the bottom. And this isn't like the ZLX where they say a thousand watts. This is a loud, powerful system. Uh, I'm absolutely, we demoed it here and it's one of these, we don't turn it all the way up. There's no demoing it at full volume. Uh, it's intimidating at the volume levels it can play at, which is a great thing. It means you're never really going to have this thing right to 100% pretty much ever. So that's a big, big plus. So if you're looking for something to do big jobs with, uh, I already have one of our DJs who does have a set like this and he's absolutely in love with it. He thinks it's the easiest thing he's ever done 
in the last 10 years of DJing was to do this and start using these on a regular basis. Uh, it gives him the performance and the reliability and ease of use that he was looking for without having to carry a lot of heavy equipment. Now, don't get me wrong, it is a bit of an investment, but if you're professionally looking at making a change and stepping up, this is definitely the way to go. Now, the only decision you have to make is, do you get it in black or do you get it in white? So, well, we're gonna wrap this video up here with that. And remember, if you have any questions or comments, and also, real important, let me know what speaker you'd like me to put this against. Uh, we've got our own product coming in very shortly, and we're gonna use that one to actually go head to head with some of the other products. So, let me know in the comments, what would you like to see this go up against? Uh, and if you have any questions or comments on this product, please let me know. And if I can't answer it, I will get the Electro Voice rep to help me out with that for sure. Uh, don't forget, if you haven't subscribed yet, I still don't know why, but you can always hit that subscribe button. And if you really wanna find out when the next video is coming out, like our Q&A's videos, hit the bell button. This way, you'll be right on top of it. So we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.